Okay. Alright, I'm pretty sure I'm recording. Alright, take two. Um, <laughs> so I just tried recording this, and I got about like five minutes into it, and realized that I was not recording audio. So, um, let's try this again. And, um, another problem is that the uh, tablet that I use for drawing is, is it's a, uh, I don't know if it's pronounced like Wacom or Wacom or whatever it is, but it's, um, whatever that is, W-A-C-O-M, tablet's really, really nice. But uh, for some reason, my computer is feeling like being a total jerk, and it will only run my tablet if I am not connected to the internet, as you can see. I try to get on, but it will not let me. So then I restarted my computer, and then it could let me get on the internet, but would not connect my tablet. So <laughs> I got to record this, and then uh, restart, and then go to... Uh, and then go to the internet and upload it. But anyways, so I've got um, Adobe Photoshop up here, which is what I used to draw. And uh, if you haven't realized so far, this is going to be a drawing video. So go ahead and uh, open up a new, fresh drawing. Uh, let's the image. I don't know why I keep starting off so small. Let's make that 12 and 14. There we go. I wish I could find out a way to make this like a. Uh, I don't really know how to explain it, but uh, where it would always start off in a 12 to 14 ratio. And I'm talking in a British accent for some reason. I do not know why, but I am so doing it. Anywho, <laughs> that was weird. Alright, um, so uh, I got that laid out. Let me go ahead and start with some new layers. And uh, we're just going to do a quick drawing, so let's go with two layers. Um, this is going to be a uh, video just kind of like talk to you guys for a while because um, if you haven't already seen my um, my uh, other drawing video that I did a few days ago, I have to just go um, looking at that because uh, that was really fun and it was uh, something pretty cool to do. And uh, so, normally whenever I do Photoshop drawings, like my really good ones, like um, you can see in the background, I drew, I drew this one. Um, uh, that one took me about seven hours. Um, most of the time, I'll draw those on paper and then just put them into uh, Photoshop from there. But um, uh, but occasionally I'll just draw just straight up in here. Good night. Use the brush tool because the scratch discs are full. I have never seen that sign before, and that worries me. Could not use the brush tool because the scratch disc is full. What are these scratch discs? Alright, let me see if I go to the eraser and race. Oh, no, could not use the eraser because it's got this Well, that scares me. Um, do not know what this is. Ooh, this is a little exclamation point. What does this mean? Oh, God. Please don't explode, computer. Am I good? Can I draw again? I can draw again. What I do? I don't know and I do not care. Alright. That was weird. Okay. <laughs> that scared me. I thought my computer was like all messed it up or something. Okay. Um so uh what was I saying? Yeah, something about like drawing Photoshop just straight up in here. Um I do that every once in a while, but uh not whenever I do draw something really good. Um but just we're just doing a quick drawing today, so I'm gonna draw Sonic. Because one, Sonic is a great character, he's really He's pretty cool, and he's just really, really fun to draw. So, uh, and he's probably one of the easiest cartoon characters to draw, um, just because you can pretty much break his body down into simple shapes, like circle here, circle here, a few lines coming down, and then, uh, and of course, straight lines for the legs. Um, I have not drawn Sonic in forever. Because I've been drawing like comic books and stuff, which I am in the process of making comic books. Um, if you'd like to check them out, uh, again, they're not really that hugely popular just because I am a kid and kids do not get very many record, or uh, I was just about to say record deals. Yeah, apparently I'm a musician too. Um, don't get very many, uh, I don't even know what you call it, like publishment deals or something. So, uh, 
yeah, I'm still stuck on a website called DeviantArt. I'll leave it a link down in the description. And um, pretty much all it is is a website where you can upload drawings for free. So if you're an artist and you like to draw stuff and put it on random websites for free, then this would probably be a good website for you. Um, so anyways, uh, we're going to go ahead and focus in on Sonic's head right here. Um, actually, these. Uh, eraser, and, well, I, don't, I don't know if you guys have seen this, but it's really laggy, like, my eraser is like jumping all over the place, come on, yeah, yeah, alright, there we go, okay, so, back to this, we're gonna go ahead and, uh, back to what I was saying, we're gonna focus on Sonic's head for a while, so, uh, let's go ahead and start uh, with his, I guess you call it muzzle, or his mouthpiece, I don't even, mouthpiece, something like, uh, something like the face that he put on his face for no apparent reason. And Sonic is a happy dude, so he's got a nice smile, and a little nose with a shine on it. Uh, let's go ahead and make him happy, I don't really want to go for a serious look, let's just make him really happy. And one of the reasons that I really like the uh, Sonic art style is the eyes. I mean, I'm pretty sure he made up the eye. Uh, the, I don't know the author's name or the uh, illustrator's name, but I'm pretty sure he made up all the uh, all these ideas like on his on his uh, I guess process of making the show. Um, again, uh, since this is just like a, a quick video, just like a quick update video, just to say hi. Um, I'm not, I'm not going to color this, but I probably will color it off video and upload it onto uh, DeviantArt um, because, uh, or the art website that I use. Just kind of get, uh, get my name out there, I guess, because popularity is cool and uh, I like it, so yeah. Uh, Alright, <laughs> another thing uh, is his fine of death like metal spikes. They have metal bars in them, so they can just cut you right up. Um, I'm getting on metal bars, so I can cool. <laughs> uh, I'm getting on a tangent here. This is what I do whenever I get on time to focus on something. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna erase that line right there. So I'm getting in my middle line right here. Uh, and again, a lot of the times my drawings are a lot more neat than this. Uh, I don't really know if neater is a word, but <laughs> um, they're usually a lot more neat. And but since it's a quick drawing, I'm just going, hey, I'm drawing, so I don't really care. <laughs> okay, um, on to his hands. Now hands are uh, pretty fun to draw. I, I like drawing hands, although they are pretty pretty complicated to uh, draw. Actually, what I'm going to do is just like a so it doesn't get confusing over all the lines. I'm just going to go ahead and erase this part. And with a trick, you can put a different color. And place that. Like so. Go back. And go back to your black color for the line. And then keep on drawing. Um, oh, it's not. Alright. So that was really weird. I just like had to delete a whole bunch of my old videos in order to get this up and running. But uh, nevertheless, uh, let's go ahead and continue on this. Um, I don't really know what I've what I've said so far because there's a little weird stuff going on. But um, anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and skip ahead and start drawing the hands. Um, yeah, the hands can sometimes be kind of hard to draw for like new, newer artists. Uh, I am a seasoned pro though, <laughs> yeah. um, I am not anywhere near to the uh, ability of some other people, but I mean, I like to think that I'm alright, just, just a little bit of a positive attitude, positive attitude, all right. uh, then you got a tail in the background, um, and well, then let's go ahead and start on his uh, legs, I guess, let's just go ahead and start drawing these down, uh, again, I was stupid enough not to use a different color 
those sketches, so I have no idea what I've already drawn, what have not drawn. So, uh, anyways. Again, just like his wrist, his, um, shoes also have the, uh, iconic, uh, uh, folded up sock, uh, that he, for some reason, wears on his wrist, but, uh, I'm not going to tell uh, the illustrators how to do it because they're, they're doing very well in what they do. So, um, Sonic Shoes. Alright, so let's go ahead and start with this one over here just because, um, it's turned sideways you can kind of see, like, what, what what's going on. So it's got, like, this kind of raised part in the back just for a sort of style. And, uh, it's got a little, like, nick in there. What do you want to call it? That's got a little uh, a strap that comes around. And that's uh, pretty much a yaw his shoe from the side. And then if you come over on this side, you see that on the side facing outward, there is a buckle. That uh, just there to look cool because Sonic is cool to the box. And uh, so, yeah, kind of the sole of the shoe in there. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure that that is everything. Back out, uh, here's the player. And then, uh, let's go ahead and erase all our sketching lines to see how much. Hey, I actually got a pretty good bit of a drawing. I think you bought a first for me. So, uh, go, go me. Let's go ahead and, uh, kind of tighten up or whatever you want to call the chin part of the spike neck. So, one, one kind of confusing thing about Sonic is that he does not have a neck, pretty much. Um, well, it, it, it is, but it, he does, but it's kind of hard to see. So, um, it's kind of a weird fact, so it's kind of a little bit hard to draw sometimes. So I'm just kind of like, it fade away into there. It doesn't look that good, but, um, anyway, so that's my new, oh, got a little part down there. There we go. So, that was kind of my, uh, little quick update drawing. I'll be doing more of these, better drawings than these, because I kind of messed up on it because I was just trying to rush this. Um, but, uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do my signature real quick. And I will see you guys next time. And thanks. Number four. For watching. Maddie.